G'day folks, here's a bit of an update on the uh, cassette fiddle yard. The uh, track from the uh, cassettes now uh, runs along the wall and around the uh, corner there and uh, out to make its parallel run with the main lines. And you can see my little um, rail car out there. I'll connect that up and I'll uh, give it a run and show you what it's like. Okay, here we go. Quite an easy thing to do. Very easy to park it in there. We'll just take it back out again. No issues where it's um, connecting to the standard track. So there you go. Now this is what it's like with the uh, baseboard framing on for uh, Little Bard Field. So you're starting to get the picture. So I'll, uh, I'll put the top on now, a little barred field, and I'll show you what it's like for clearance, etc. Right, this changes the ball game a bit. Uh, now we're relying on a uh, good clearance under the board there to come out to the cassette. I'll show you, um, or, well I'll attempt to show you what the clearance is like. Okay, excuse the shaky handheld. But uh, we can't get a tripod down here, it's a bit tight. So we'll just bring a train through. As you can see, there's plenty of clearance there. I've tried it with coaches and whatever, so no problem. There we go. Now around the other side of the wall, I um, where the track exits the fiddle yard, I had to build this little uh, plywood bridge to uh, go over the top of my cables. That was uh, a severe lack of good planning. That I probably should have run the cables underneath, but uh, I was trying to avoid going through the wall. But you know this has worked out okay. Everything's screwed down so it can be removed if need be, but uh, it's fairly simple. It works, that's the main thing. And here's a view from above. And that's the end of the line. I've run out of track, I've got to get some more flex track. I've got little bits and pieces where I could continue on but I really would rather use one single length of flex track to sort of uh, negotiate the curve. It would be easier than trying to join little bits. So there you go. Cheers, Gormo.